Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a couple of goofballs in love, the Lover Agnes and Persona. Yes, we do. So today, we're checking out Persona All Openings. Uh, hopefully this is all openings for all the Persona games. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. And if you want all of our Persona reactions, we have a playlist down below in the description of this video. Um, you can also find a link to Patreon there. You get early ad-free access to our videos, or yeah. you can hit the join button as well on YouTube, depending on which one you want to go to. There are options. Yeah, there are options, people. And we also have to thank our sponsor today, BetterHelp. Um, BetterHelp is a company that we have worked with before as a sponsor and also a company that we've used as well. Yep. I actually started to use BetterHelp for the second time uh, earlier this year. And uh, basically, I was finding that the the language I was using sort of like talk to myself the way that we talk to ourselves in our heads, you know, mm -hmm. um, was really negative. It was being influenced by somebody in my orbit who was really negative and, and I was kind of letting that get in and it was drowning out, not not Ken, and it was drowning out all the other voices in, in a kind of a toxic way. Um, and so I recognized that I was like, man, the way I'm talking to myself is just constantly putting myself down. It's really becoming quite unsustainable. I need to fix it. Um, and so I worked with BetterHelp and had a, an absolutely wonderful therapist who, um, in, in just a few sessions, really, yeah. was able to kind of like get my head screwed back on straight, which was really helpful. Um, so, you know, all that is to say, whether you're working through something major or something minor, whether you're in it for the long haul, or if you just need somebody to kind of like put your head back on right, they're a great resource. And I'm very grateful for the work that they did with me. I loved her therapist too, because her therapist was like, you should listen to your husband. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't say that, that was true. That was true. So first things first, go to their sites and you can use our link down below, betterhelp.com slash definitely not. Answer a few questions and BetterHelp will match you to a professional who has years of experience helping people with struggles just like yours. You can do it all from your phone or computer, via phone call, video chat, or messaging, however you feel most comfortable. It's the easiest possible way to start talking to a therapist. You'll be matched with therapists usually within 48 hours, so you can get started really fast. Let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can support you all from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash definitely not or choose definitely not definitive during sign up and enjoy a special discount on your first month. A long time ago, <laughs> there was a world not so different from the one you have lived in today. Dedication, trauma, passion, <laughs> excitement, war, hunger. <laughs> well, that looks out of place. Yeah, shoot it. Oh my God. <laughs> It's an evil butterfly. There's no yellow, just red and green. I mean, red and, yeah. There's the yellow. It's the butterfly. Mm -hmm. When the butterfly flies across, you have to slow down. <laughs> Created in a lab. Poor butterfly, you stop on a flower soon, it's gonna be exhausted. <laughs> right? He's like, where the F are all the other butterflies? <laughs> I'm also glowing, so I think I'm radioactive, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it killed all the other butterflies yeah. with its radiation. That was a segue. Mm hmm. In the hospital? Yeah. And it all comes tumbling down. Sad times. Yeah. I'm going to have to jump in entirely. Mm-hmm. I'm taking your drugs today. <laughs> oh, no. Once upon a time. In a galaxy was... far, far away. Yes. <laughs> Okay. 
There ghost children on there. Children in the world? Yeah. Innocent sin. Wow, yeah. what a... What a contradiction of terms. Okay. We should have killed the butterfly. <laughs> we thought it was innocent, and it was a sin to kill. That innocent sin led us to this moment. She looks happy. Yeah. Yes, she was happy. That's what that says. Okay. That's some very blue hair. Yeah, and some chops. Yeah. He stands around and watches the ghost children on the screens. Mm -hmm. Wishing they could push the children, but they can't because they're ghosts. He wants to swing on those wings. He's the ghost children won't let him. Yeah. Sitting on a ghost. Yeah. Oh, shattered. I was gonna make a sound effect, but it's shattered. Okay. Okay. Look, that was that was a change. All right, now things are happy again. Got rid of evil flowers. <laughs> He's yeah. sleeping through. He doesn't care. Harley, Harley Quinn. Mm hmm. Eternal punishment for your innocent sin. He looks happy. You know, with some hair gel, he could become Heihachi. Ah, yeah. Fucking takes a And he didn't like it. This little ditty. We Mento Mori? Deborah Daly? Mortal simultaneously remembering that you will die. Mm hmm. Yep, that's what they're all doing. They're pulling the trigger. Never 
the staircase. <laughs> I can't tell they access their persona. Like, still so it's still disturbing. Yep. Okay. No, just, I mean, I know we don't know the persona that well, but just from what we know of persona, this is not the kind of song I thought would be like, so like using one of their openings. There's a butterfly again. Mm -hmm. Ooh, eyes watching you. Eyes are everywhere. Mm -hmm. There's a secret TV in that mountain. Force and what? Spirit. Oh, nice job reading that. Very fast, but I was looking at the right moment, like the right part of the screen at the right mm. moment. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that scarf is going to protect you. Pod people. The bubble people. First one that actually has like titles in it, like other than the actual title of like the game itself. As far as like people like involved. Hmm. Maybe yeah. This, this first one I've first one I've noticed that it there has been other ones like actually I like the, like the reveal of the names in this. Agree. Octopus. I'm 
sneak a copper guy. Hmm. Sam and Miguel. Yeah, I missed that one for you. I saw he has, and that's it. Hmm, so why? Don't do it! Living is not breathing, but doing. Okay. Good line. Is that a robot puppy in there? That's not a robot. I definitely saw a puppy of some kind. I wasn't sure if it was natural or robot or any other kind. Mm. But there was a puppy. And it's an insane remake, okay. Whoa. Yeah, back to the psychedelic. Ooh. It's like Power Rangers pass. This is my favorite one so far. Dark. Mm -hmm. I don't think any of them are like super happy fun times, but like. This one just seems to have more of a. I don't want to say a horror vibe, but like. A spooky vibe. Mm. Crossbone character, or whatever. Skulls. Mm. Oh, it's a lot of guns. Yeah. Slow walk. See, dumpling. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how else to describe him. He's like. He has sort of Humpty Dumpty ass. Humpty Dumpty, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. 
Eternal Punishment remake. I like the remake for uh, Innocent Sin, so let's see how, let's see how this goes. Ooh, that was Ooh yeah. See, like, these two. The Innocent Sin and Eternal Punishment both have, like, a creepier vibe. And why does she have hearts on her boobs? I don't know. I was wondering that as well. Okay. Fashion trend in 2000. I'm not aware of any fashion trend that's ever put boobs on hearts, like outside of a strip club or something. <laughs> I'll admit, I'm not the most fashion savvy, so it could have been, and okay. I just missed the trend. I don't know if it was the same thing, like you know how they're usually like, like juicy on the, on the butts. Oh, yeah. You know, it was like the brand. Dancing with the trash can, Oscar the Grouch. She was like doing the Michael Jackson. Yeah, she was a bit. Hmm. Fall fiction. <laughs> Just Teddy! Okay. Did Teddy just open up his head? I think he might have. Alright. So then are we inside his head right now? This is what's going on. Inside Teddy's head. And his brother fighting on top of that ah, tower. Ah, yeah! Definitely cry. Puppy! You can come out with another definitely cry. Mm hmm. Are we make each other? 
Okay. I mean, I thought the Persona people were kind of like Warrior kids. I guess they were teenagers, but now it's like they're in like middle school. Sure. Okay. Sunshine rainbows. Sparkle. And all of a sudden, like, just like bunnies are getting murdered, and there's needles everywhere, and crying tears of blood. Yeah, that's when they grew up. Start off positive enough. Here's another one. Dancing all night. Yeah, more dancing. Hmm. Help! Help me get me out of here! I thought she was gonna go into the moonwalk. That would have been awesome. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? People are just like inside him. Kuma. Is it just anyone? Or. I don't know, I, I've always seen that guy, you know. Okay. Inside. So he just likes to wear a Humpty Dumpty costume? Yeah. I think so. Everybody's got their thing. Mm -hmm. Man, but Persona 5 was all in 2016. Damn. This looks kind of like one that we've seen yeah, before. Yeah, this one we have seen before. We checked out all the openings um, for uh, Persona 5. And so this was one of them that we checked out. Okay. So some of these will be, are gonna be familiar. Always run that happy. Yeah! Never again? Or never give in? Okay. Alright, that works. Ooh, pretty green eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah! This is supposed to be the first one with a cat. He's in the previous one. He's in Persona 2. He's dressed in the same jacket as Puppy. Oh, yeah? Like the little white wings on it. Got a cool, like, galaxy t shirt. Shine up, won't 
Mm-hmm. There is the galaxy shirt. That is a cool galaxy shirt. Yeah. That's all. Doesn't get a ton of screen time. He gets on out his galaxy shirt. He's twice now. Oh, this is when it goes dark? Okay. Just bloody eyes. Ends on. King Kitty. She was a little kitty, a very big crown. <laughs> Diddy. Yeah. Some music videos he's singing to us. Seen him before. Yeah, looking with all those freaking eyes on you. It's a dedicated filmmaker though, the person that was like falling down and like even though they're falling to their death, they still like wanted to like get the sh like the perfect shot as that's, that's definitely dedication. Buildings down. Oh. They turn into Legos. Yeah. Or water molecules. Oh no, she's gonna blow away. 
or just bust into a spontaneous dance. That works too. Green diamonds. Hallelujah. Kitty. Yeah. Oh god, it reminds me. What was the game you played where there was a kitty in the backpack? Um, I came backpack, but I fight rush. There was a cat that we had with us. I'm trying to think of it. we had the kid in the backpack. Um, oh, uh, Spider Man. Mal there Mal is. Mal yes. Morales. Thank you. Yeah. That's what it was making me think of. The little cat spider cat. Yeah. In the back. The, the backpack. Out. Yep. That was great. You gotta have a certain costume for him, though. I'm like that. We never once we had that skin. Like we're like, okay, we're never changing this his costume. Yeah. He's always wearing this. Yeah. No. He's very annoyed with you every time you. I know. <laughs> he wants out the exasperated size. Thing shot from the cat. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Remember that dude? Not Joker, but the guy before that. I like the pistols. I thought it was Joker and just had to be awesome. Take your heart. Personified detective. Something has gone. Question for you, Rafael. Do you honestly guess my fear? They're running on like a spinning wheel with spikes on it? That would suck. Yeah. But the spikes were on the outside, but they were in the center, but still. I think this is what I'm after this. And this one we've seen. I checked out a bunch of Persona 3 stuff. Or Persona 3 Reload stuff, I mean. I like the change in the color palette. Cause like everything was has been so red. Red, like yeah. To have the blue and the white is a definite contrast. Mm hmm.
Oh, sad puppy. Hmm. Look at robots have better jigs. I think my two favorites still are uh, the Persona 2 games, um, Innocent Sin, uh, the remix ones for Innocent Sin and uh, Eternal Punishment. Um, like I said, they were just had a little bit more of a, I don't know, spooky vibe to it. And I uh, was very interested in kind of like learning more about what those games are about. Yeah, I would agree. Those two stick out in my brain as well. Um, and Persona... Persona is just so such an interesting franchise because the the trailers for them and the openings and so much of the content that we've seen is so heavily stylized and just feels like animated version of like modern pop art. Mm. Um, so they're they're like interesting visually to look at, but they don't in any way really like suck me into the stories, which is why I think the two you mentioned stuck out to me because yeah. they they had a slightly different tonal shift and it seemed like they had more of an undercurrent of a story even if i didn't know totally what it was it felt like there was something going on there that in the other ones while the music is fun and yeah and the the visual is interesting it just doesn't like really draw me in i feel more like a person at a museum who's just like oh that's nice and like walking along yeah um and not fully invested and drawn in and like eager to necessarily like learn more. It, it, does, it hasn't had that effect on me yet, which is why like the, some of the stuff that we've checked out for more of the lore in the backstory, I'm like, oh, that's what this is about? Like that's yeah, really like the, cool. Yeah, like when you check out the 15, first 15 minutes of the gameplay and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, that was, yeah, that that helped took you in some more. Um, I think also my other one that I really liked was, it was one where they were dancing, but it wasn't the one that was like, actually the dance one of the dancing games it was like before any of the dancing games came on and um i think it was when like teddy was there which he had later was named um uh i want to say kafka but it wasn't kafka it was like uh kuma he was there named kuma um so yeah those are the ones that uh stuck out to me the most um the music in it was was good. I like you know had me had me tap my feet, and uh, Bucky didn't like that so much when I was when I was doing that. I think because we've seen Persona Five more, and uh, we checked out those openings, like when like the rap opening came in that one. That's why I said like that felt like out of place to me. Yeah, like, not at least from what I know knew of like a Persona game because we'd only really checked out Five with like also like Persona Three Reload. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments, and uh, which openings were your favorites, and. If you want all of our Persona reactions, check out the description of this video for a playlist. Thanks so much for seeing our reaction for Persona. All openings, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.